Josh, are you getting more comfortable uh, from the three point line? You made a couple tonight. Yeah, I've been getting a lot more comfortable. My teammates, like, uh, I was on the radio earlier, so my teammates have just been just harping on me, just trying to shoot the ball, shoot the ball. Um, during practice, Tony's been getting mad at me when I pass up open three. So they've just been just giving me confidence to shoot the ball, and they've been telling me that uh, just just keep working on it regardless of if it's going in or not, and it's just going to get more consistent from there. And then just by extension, the, the whole team's success yeah. tonight shooting three. Um, you haven't seen him go down like that uh, this year, I, I don't think. Um, I, don't, I didn't really notice. I didn't really notice that. But sixty percent, fifty nine. So, oh, I mean, <laughs> we we were we were feeling good in uh, warm ups. Um, I, I knew that my teammates were just feeling it, so try to find them, find them in, uh, in transition, find them in uh, the half court sets, and try to get them open shots. In these games over holiday break, how much do you guys have to kind of generate your own energy? The student section's been really good, but mm -hmm. without them, do you really have to kind of get the juice going a little bit on your own? Yeah, I mean, uh, Coach always says it starts with the first five, uh, the first five players on the court, and uh, we try to we try to bring as much energy as we can. Uh, the bench really helps us just having those just, those personalities on the bench, just so willing, just so just so eager to just do whatever they can to help and. Uh, just, uh, just hearing how loud they are uh, and how much they that they want to be a part of what we're doing and them cheering and everything. So the, all that just just tries to, just gives us a lot of energy and, and it helps us out a lot. Seem to have a knack of finding guys cutting into the lane when necessarily maybe you don't uh, an average person wouldn't see him cut into the lane or they're behind you. Where mm -hmm. where does that come from? From me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Coach has been really getting on uh, like Lamar and Nas and, and people like that just to, just to cut to the basket and uh, when I when I get into the paint I just I try to stop and, and just see like try to think like where would I be cutting from and, and most of the time like Lamar or Mike is, those are the ones that those are the people that have been just open so uh, just when we uh, drive into the paint we just jumps up and take our time and just people cut it just everything just works out. How is it having that break in the big time play? You only played two games, but mm -hmm. once you kind of get into conference play, that's a different animal. And then to come out of that and want to get better at the little things, but mm -hmm. you know, no disrespect to Binghamton, but it's not Michigan State. How do you kind of navigate those couple games in the middle, especially since this is kind of a new experience? It was definitely weird. Um, definitely a new experience. Uh, my first two years, we just played non-conference and went straight into conference play. So it's it's definitely weird, but we just have to stay focused. And keep playing every game like it's a Big Ten game. And if we do that, we're we're gonna keep finding success, and we're gonna keep just just playing as hard as we can, playing Penn State basketball, and, and trying to just trying to just build the culture, and just just we gotta keep going at that, and keep coach keeps harping on it. So we just gotta set the standard. Going off of Mark's question a little bit, how do you keep the momentum alive now, headed into you know one more game before you close out the week? Um, it, it's definitely difficult uh, knowing that breaks coming up and people are trying to go home for holidays and and finals are over and people are just so just like relieved of all like the stress and everything. So it's I feel like it's it's time to to lock in more. Um, I, I try to I try to tell my teammates like I know like we're we're off of school and we're we have a break, but basketball is not over. You know, we still have we still have games to play, practices to do, treatments to go to. So. It's, it's definitely difficult, but uh, as a team, uh, we just all we want to do is play basketball. That's, that's what, that and academics is why we're here. So we just gotta just gotta keep going strong.